Well, it's springtime and we got to get ready for that camping season. So these are things that you need to do to get ready so you have a fantastic camping season. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. This is Jerry with the Happy Place Diaries. And yeah, it's that time of the year where we need to get our campers ready to go, whether that's a Class A, a fifth wheel, a travel trailer, or even one of them pop-ups. There are a few things that you need to do to get ready. And we're going to show, show you what we do uh, to get ready. And really what I'm talking about here are some of those annual things that you should check anyway. Uh, you know, like your tires, your fire extinguishers, your safety devices in the trailer. So come along with us and we're going to share with you uh, what we do and how we do it. All right, the first thing that we're going to talk about is our safety devices. And, and what we're talking about is our smoke detectors, our CO2 detectors, and our fire extinguishers. Now, every trailer comes with uh, fire extinguishers, and I would highly recommend uh, that you go ahead and increase the number that you have. Uh, this is the one that, that came with our uh, travel trailer, and we added two more. Uh, we have two doors on our trailer and so they put the fire extinguisher by the back door which is the closest to the galley and I guess if there's going to be a fire uh, that's where it's going to happen somewhere around the refrigerator uh, the the stove that area there so the manufacturer went ahead and installed the fire extinguisher by the back door uh, it's a good idea if they're not by the back door to put them by the door. Uh, that way, if you're outside of the trailer and there's a fire, you can open the door and easily access uh, that fire extinguisher. So we went ahead and put another one by the front door and we put one in the bedroom because if we're in bed at night and there's a fire, uh, we have to fight our way out of the bedroom or uh, have some way of attacking uh, that fire before we exit the trailer. Uh, what we didn't want to do is um, have to uh, run all the way through the fire to the back door to get to the fire extinguisher. And yes, um, you know the the number one choice would be to exit uh, out of the uh, evacuation windows in the in the bedroom. Um, but, I, but I'll tell you, it's a good idea to practice that. Um, we did it once, and that's harder than it, than it seems. And I'm sure you'll be motivated if there's a fire, but it's harder than it seems, uh, especially if you're going to uh, do that from a dead sleep. In my opinion, in my opinion only, I'd want to grab a fire extinguisher, fight our way to the door, or try to put out the fire the best we can and exit through uh, the door that's by the uh, bedroom and I'll show you what that looks like um, then try to get my butt out of that window uh, now if I have to I will uh, but a couple things with the fire extinguisher so these are the two types of fire extinguishers we have in our trailer uh, we've got uh, this one and they're both from first alert and the first thing that you want to do is check and make sure that they're still heavy. Make sure that the compound hasn't broke down. It's a good idea to shake them uh, so that, uh, you know, all of that sediment, uh, the, the, uh, the liquid that's in there uh, is going to uh, stay right. All right, uh, know how to use the equipment. Uh, it does no good to have a fire extinguisher that you don't know how to use. And during a fire is not the time to read the instructions. You really need to, to know how to use your fire extinguisher. So here's the instructions on this one. It's really simple. Uh, you pull the pin right here. You pull the pin and you press this button right here. And that's all there is to it. Now you'll notice that there's a green button right here. Uh, same thing on this one. Uh, the instructions on this one's easy. Uh, when you pull it, now this one's designed for the kitchen. Uh, we have one of these in the bedroom. Uh, essentially, that's just the mount. And so what you would do, uh, really, is just 
pull this off the wall. I'll show you that better camera angle here. So this one is mounted on the wall. All you have to do is pull the fire extinguisher and it's the same exact fire extinguisher as you see. So again, you pull the pin and you press. So that's, that's how it works. You'll notice this green button on the top of both of them. Uh, what you want to do is during this time of the year, as we're checking our fire extinguishers, and these are exactly the same, but we want to shake them. What you want to do is you want to push this green button down. And the idea is that if it stays down, your fire extinguisher is no good. And I'm doing this in real time, folks. Uh, I haven't checked these before, so. Okay, I pushed it down, and it came right back up. Pushed it down, it came right back up. So that's good. And it even says it uh, on here that you want to test, test your uh, inspection. Inspect the fire extinguisher monthly. Or more frequently, I check the pressure by pressing the green indicator button. If the button does not spring back, then your fire extinguisher is inoperable. So let's go ahead and press this one down. And it sprung back up. So both of our fire extinguishers are in good working order. And we don't have to worry about them failing us uh, when we need them. Okay, the next safety feature that we're going to talk about is our smoke detector, smoke detector uh, fire alarm. And what we want to do there is we want to make sure that it has a working battery. And the way we're going to test that is 9 volt battery. And the way we're going to test that is by putting it on our tongue. That's not how we're going to test it. Um, but we're going to make sure that that's back in properly. Okay. And then there's a, a little test button right here. And we're just going to listen for the chirp. All right. We got a good chirp. And that means that that smoke detector fire alarm is in good working order. Now, we change our batteries every Valentine's Day because that's when we change uh, in the house. And that's what's recommended. Valentine's Day is always a good day to remember uh, to change your uh, batteries because we're thinking about the ones that we love. All right. We do that in this one and the detector that we have in our uh, bedroom. And now let's move to the CO detector. Okay. This is our RV propane gas detector. Uh, it also detects uh, carbon uh, monoxide, uh, which, you know, gases are heavy. They're going to settle low. Uh, so you want to make sure that, number one, this is mounted in a low position, which it is. And it's got a green indicator uh, on the detector itself. And that green indicator uh, says that it's on. If it turns red, that's the alarm. And if it turns yellow, that means you need to replace uh, this detector. And to test this, you just press the little test button down here. And you see that the red light came on. Hopefully you saw that the little red light came on. And there you go. Green lights back on. We heard the audible cheer chirp. And we are good to go. Okay, our final thought on the... Uh, smoke detectors, fire extinguishers, and whatnot, is that this is our bedroom right here, this passageway right here. Uh, we actually have a pocket door that we never close. Um, but that cabinet right there is where the fire extinguisher is. And so you see the proximity as I back out here. There's our front door. And that is our back door where the other fire extinguisher is. So we have a fire extinguisher at that door. We have a fire extinguisher at this door. And we have a fire extinguisher in that cabinet right there. So if we need to fight our way out, we've got it. Now, the reason that we keep the fire extinguishers 
uh, by the door and we keep the fire extinguisher right there. It's on the table right now, but usually it's right there. Uh, it's so that if we're in transit, um, we can open this door, reach in, grab the fire extinguisher, and it's accessible. And it's accessible not only to put out a fire in our trailer, but if there's something around the trailer, uh, the truck, whatever. We also have one in the truck. Okay, now we're going to talk about lubrication. We're going to lubricate our windows, all the windows that slide. Uh, we're going to lubricate them. We're going to lubricate our slide out. Uh, we have a cable system on our slide out. And we are going to lubricate uh, the door hinges. And you'll notice that they start sticking a little bit. Um, you, you want those to, to, to move uh, freely. So uh, what we want to use is a dry lube. And we use the three-in-one uh, products. And the three-in-one products are uh, they're actually uh, a product of WD-40. And uh, But the nice thing is these are all dry lubes. And the benefit of dry lubes are that you don't, you're not going to collect uh, dirt and grime. So when you put a dry lube on a hinge or you put it on your window, as dust collects, you're not going to get, uh, you know, dust boogers uh, in your trailer and especially on your slide out. Uh, this is actually uh, the RV Care slide out silicone lube. And this is window and track lube. All right. So. Uh, the way that these work is you've got a, uh, a fine applicator or you can flip it down, flip that down, and you've got a wide spray nozzle. So when, you're, when I'm spraying uh, the cables of the slide out, I'm going to go ahead and use this. But when we're using uh, the fine, when we, when we uh, lubricate our gears, which are on top of the slide out, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with that. And the same thing with our windows. I want to, I want to use this applicator uh, with the windows so that we could get down in the tracks. I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so our slide out has a cable system. And you can see that the cable has gears. And here's the cables. And it's a push-pull system. So I went ahead and got the cables that uh, push pull on the outside uh, but it's important to hit these gears and you also see it runs all the way down there but you can only do this when the slide out is in so I'm going to go ahead and take that dry lube and get the gears really good And there's also rollers in here that the cable, there's the cable, it glides on. And then the same thing down at the bottom. But you want to go ahead and hit these really good. And we're going to get the other side all the way down there, which we can only access when the slide is in. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is make sure that we clean out the track uh, really good. Uh, some people recommend using a, uh, a vacuum cleaner, and you want to make sure that you get that top also. Get that top cleaned out. I just use my finger and a paper towel, but you want this to be as clean as you can. And then you're going to take your lube and we're going to squirt in there and then we're going to squirt in there and then be prepared to wipe down a bit. All right and again that's a dry lube and, it, and once you apply it it dries real quick. 
Then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open your window. And you'll see how nice and easy the window slides. But you want to work it a little bit so that it works that lube in. Okay, that's perfect. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and hit all the windows because all the windows in this area uh, have a slide track. Okay, one of the other things that we're going to do inside the trailer right now is put some black tank treatment in. And because we're not hooked up to any water, we're not hooked up to city water, and we don't have our fresh tank filled, what I do is I just get some old containers. I fill them with real hot water. And we're going to put about a gallon and a half water in here. And we're going to leave it. It's okay. A gallon and a half water it is about, you know, eight uh you know somewhere around 12 pounds something like that uh no big deal but what i want to do is i want to get ready for the next trip and so what i what i want is i want some treatment in there and i want about a gallon and a half water in there so that it sloshes around as i'm driving to our campsite now we use a product called happy camper and there'll be a link in the description to our amazon uh, go ahead and just use that link and you can buy your happy camper off of Amazon. It's uh, inexpensive through Amazon, but use our link because, uh, you know, we get a little bit of uh, a kickback on that. But what we want to do is we want to put hot water down in our tank. So that's two quarts, so that's a half a gallon. And I'm going to put that in. This is also a good way to make sure that your seal's working right. And then I'm going to put two scoops of Happy Camper in. And I'm putting it in the water. So it starts dissolving right away. Two scoops of the Happy Camper is in. And I'm going to flush. All right. Now I'm going to put another half gallon in. Now here's a tip on your toilet. When you flush your toilet when you're camping, it's not a good idea to go ahead and do what you got to do and then just flush. It's a good idea to fill your bowl up to about this line right here and then flush and that way you're getting you know a half gallon that's coming straight down and that'll keep you from getting the poop pyramids um in your black tank uh, because that that water pressure is going to hit that and dissipate whatever is in there so that's why i fill and then i let it all down and then we're going to do it one more time with another half gallon so that's a gallon and a half and this is hot water. So that's going to eliminate odors. It's going to start cleaning your black tank as you're driving to the campsite because it's sloshing around. And you won't have a stinky tank when you get there. So that's what we do to treat our black tank uh, before our first trip. Okay, the last thing that we're going to check uh, for this video is our tires. Those things that keep you uh, moving on down the road, you want to make sure that you do that safely. So uh, just be aware of your tire pressure. Make sure that you're properly inflated. Uh, also, do a visual inspection. Make sure that there's no unusual wear on your tires and uh, that there's no cracks 
uh, on the tire. And it's a good idea to go ahead and crawl underneath and check the backside. Uh, we rarely uh, get under there, uh, but we want to make sure that we're checking that too. Okay, some of the other things that we're going to check is our roof. We're going to get uh, up on the ladder and check all of our seal, seals and seams. We're going to do that in another video, uh, but we want to check that uh, before we head out uh, for that first time. And again, uh, we didn't show it, but uh, lube up that uh, slide out. The other thing that once we check our uh, roof for uh, the seals and seams, we're going to check everywhere that they put a hole in our trailer. So all the windows, things like your refrigerator, there's a hole right here. We're going to make sure that all these seams are sealed up really good. Okay, so it's a good idea to have a really good routine uh, when you're getting your trailer ready uh, for the camping season. Have a checklist. Go through. Make sure that you're doing all that maintenance. You should be doing that anyway, but thinking about going camping is a great time uh, to knock out some of these things. That's going to keep your trailer uh, a happy place for you for years to come. All right, hey, don't forget to share the video with a friend. We really appreciate you coming with us. Remember that a happy life starts in a happy place, and you got to take care of yours. All right, we'll see you in the next video.